Welcome back to Fast Money. We are following a developing story on Nikola. Shares tumbling in the after-hour session. Let's get to Phil LeBeau, who's got the details. Phil. And Melissa, they are under pressure because it appears there are now two agencies that are investigating Nikola. This afternoon, two reports, one from Dow Jones, one from the FT, saying that the Department of Justice, specifically the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, has made inquiries to Nikola regarding the fraud claims. By the way, we have reached out to Nikola. No comment at all. We've been unable to hear anything back from the company regarding this report of the DOJ investigating company. Remember, yesterday, the report came out that the SEC is also looking into these fraud claims surrounding Nikola. Nikola, for its part, says, look, we reached out proactively last Friday to the SEC, and we said, look, we want you to look into these claims that were made by Hindenburg Research. Those claims, about 43 of them, essentially saying that this is an intricate fraud that Nikola is uh, perpetrating here and that uh, basically investors are on the hook. Again, what you heard from Nikola, not only on Friday, but also on Monday, was a refuting of those claims from Hindenburg. But today, Hindenburg doubled down, issuing another report, basically saying we view Nikola's response as a tacit admission of securities fraud. That tacit admission is because one of the claims from Hindenburg Research was that a semi-truck that was filmed by Nikola back in 2017 was not actually propelling itself. It was being rolled down a hill. It was in motion. It was not an actual driving vehicle. I'm showing you General Motors because General Motors has said, look, we did pr appropriate diligence when it comes to looking into Nikola before striking the deal where General Motors takes an 11 percent stake. Nikola will have its Badger electric pickup truck built by General Motors. Um, that's the latest in terms of what we have at this point, Melissa. But what's interesting here is we have heard nothing, nothing at all from the chairman of Nikola, Trevor Milton. And these two investigations, you have to wonder if this takes away the real oxygen that has pushed this stock higher over the last month. And that's Trevor Milton on social media. He was out there on Friday. He has not been out there since then. Yeah, he had um, that sort of monologue that had some yep. you know profanity in it that we bleeped out we, we aired part of that um it's amazing phil because bloomberg actually had that report about about the pickup truck or the truck the semi truck i should say not actually being functional at an event Correct. a long time ago so they are on to this whole thing has gm not really said has they not said anything they have not said anything and i think general motors position and and this is purely conjecture based on conversations with people at the company i think their position at this point is look we didn't pay anything. We have made an agreement with Nikola to build the Badger electric pickup truck. If this turns out that Nikola is really not what everybody thought it was going to be, what's the worst that happens? They no longer build it. It's a little embarrassing for General Motors since they said they did uh, appropriate diligence. Um, so from General Motors' perspective, you know, it's too early to pull the plug, so to speak. Yeah, you can't be happy to see that Nikola... Uh, maybe under investigation, but at the same point, look, there's the possibility that this could ultimately all wash out and they do build this Badger electric pickup truck. And if you're General Motors, Mary Barra has said time and again, Nikola gives them the potential for size and scale, and that's the real attractive part of this deal for them. Phil, thank you. Phil LeBeau you on this, uh, what's becoming a very complicated story. Steve Grasso, I, I think that's an interesting point. It didn't cost GM any money basically so it's sort of an option on the success of this company yeah when i look at this the, we're caught up in reading tea leaves now so you have to look at technical so i'll start there so the 2875 is your near-term support we're a blink of an eye away from that and then you have your 200 day which is 2562 having said that when you have gm maybe gm is advising them and, I, and this is all me just guessing here, but maybe GM is advising them not to speak. Maybe GM is advising them not to, not, not to open their mouths because of, uh, uh, of the profanity that we heard last week. They don't like the look of that. Having said that, if GM says they did their due diligence, I think you've got to count that as a huge bullish point. So where Phil said uh, maybe they could just walk away, it'll be a little embarrassing. I am more constructive on this, but I would like to see some levels get tested. And ultimately, if it holds the 200 day, I'd be willing to take a flyer small or play it however you, you feel confident in. But I think the stock probably eventually moves higher as soon as we hear something good. 
I mean, if GM really did due diligence, Guy, this would really um, put questions in my head, some doubts about any future deal that GM partakes in at all. It's not like there was no uh, question about this company before. As I mentioned to Phil, there was that Bloomberg article about the semi-truck that was not functional at an unveil uh, function. Yeah, and, th and that would be my concern. I understand what Phil's saying, and I think Tim's sort of in that camp as well. I don't want to speak for Tim, but I can understand why, for some people, it would just be viewed as a, as a slight embarrassment to General Motors. I totally get that. Uh, I also think the other side of the coin is what you point out, that if GM says they did their due diligence and there is something here, to me that's problematic. But let me say one other thing. Uh, the agencies that are doing their due diligence are doing exactly that. It doesn't mean that Nikola is guilty of anything. And to Steve's point, whether it's General Motors telling Mr. Milton or his lawyers not to say anything, that doesn't necessarily mean anything other than they want him to be quiet. So they can, I'll use the word exonerated, it's the w wrong word, but for lack of a better one, you know, in a week from now, we could be talking about Nikola being cleared of these charges by these agencies and the stock trading significantly higher. That's the flip side of the coin. Again, uh, at least for me, knowing nothing about any of the accusations or the veracity of them.